Now, this your boy, Kalonga King, 777. Now, today we're going to talk about a fragrance from the house of Christian in New York. There's no other than New York. Survive. <laughs> Dio Savage has been the king in the fragrance world for a long time, man. Um, in the designer fragrance world for a long time, it's been king. Um, and to me, man, this is an awesome fragrance. Um, like I said, it's from the house of Christian in New York. And the nose behind this scent is uh, is a man by the name of Francois de Marchi. And to me, he did an awesome job with his cologne. I love this. This is one of, in my top five um, king scents that I own. And, uh, Let's get into it, man. Let's talk about the uh, smell and the presentation. Now, let's look at the presentation. When you look at this bottle, it's pretty simple. You know, we have um, it's dark blue, almost black. It has a uh, Dior at the bottom. You have Savage. Now, they do have a uh, Eau de Parfum concentration where you have Eau de Parfum under uh, the name Savage. This is the Eau de Toilette. And to me, I prefer the Eau de Toilette over the Eau de Parfum because they smell pretty close. But to me, they smell uh, a tad bit better. So, my personal opinion, the Eau de Toilette is better than the Eau de Parfum concentration. Now, when you look at the cap, it's a magnetic cap. And then it snaps on a certain way. If you try to turn it, it won't go on. It'll turn itself into lock in. So, if you have someone selling Dio Savage and, his, and he have a magnetic cap and it can lock on any kind of way, it's a fake. If you have a guy who's selling deals of bars and he have a black atomizer, it's a fake. All right, if you have somebody who's selling deals of bars and only last 30 minutes, it's a fake, but this bad boy lasts for days. And we're gonna get into that in a little while. So let's talk about the smell, man. When you smell this, man, it, it, they did a wonderful job blending in these notes, man. When you smell it, it smells like a spicy, fresh, laundry detergent type smell, man, in a good way. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's an awesome smell, man. Um, at the top note, we have uh, pepper, and we have Calabrian bergamot. Now, that Calabrian bergamot and that pepper gives it that, that, that citrus, that spicy citrus that you smell when you first spray it, and it's gonna last for about maybe two to three hours within the fragrance. Then you're gonna start to hit into that middle note. Now, in the middle notes, we have geranium, we have lavender, we have Sichuan pepper, we have alumni, pink pepper, vetiver, and patchouli to kind of round off that spiciness and that citrus. And that'll last for about, you know, from the remaining period from, I say from four to the five hour mark. Now when you get to the six or seven hour mark, that's when you're gonna get to the base. And the base we have cedarwood, we have labdanum, and we have ambroxin. Now then ambroxin will pop out. And that's pretty much what you'll smell through the remaining of the fragrance. And you'll smell hints of the, the middle notes and the, uh, the top notes, but then um, the ambroxin in these bad boys is gonna shine. And I love the Embroxin smell, man. They're going to give it that masculine edge. That's what people smell when they turn around and ask you what you're wearing and things like that. And pretty much that's the smell, man. Um, it's a everyday type cologne. You know what I'm saying? You can wear it for uh, special events. Um, I wouldn't wear it on dates. And, uh, you know, you can wear it to work. I want to wear it if you work in a cubicle environment. I want to really... If I wear this, I probably do like one or two sprays because the performance is so good. You have the whole room smelling like Dio Savage. You have the hallway smelling like Dio Savage. So if you do wear this to work, one or two sprays on the neck and, and, and this bad boy shine. You do it in the morning and you're gonna choke somebody out. And I'm being real. So it's not strong in a bad way, it's strong in a good way. Because it's a performance monster. So I wear this like if I'm going out with the fellas, you know, baseball game, football game, something like that, bowling alley. When you're stepping out at nighttime, you can wear this in daytime, but it's more of like a, a evening, night type of scent. To me, that's why I think they make the ball dark. It give off an impression like, hey, you're supposed to wear this at, you know what I'm saying, sunset. But anyway, that's the smell. Let's talk about the performance of this bad boy. It'll last about 89 hours on you and some. If you get it on your clothes, it'll last for maybe a day or two. But I know y'all wash out clothes every day, so I, ain't, I know y'all ain't going to have to worry about that smell this on y'all shirt two or three days later, right? Yeah. Anyway, um, it'll last on your skin um, eight hours on me, and I have the type of skin that'll suck up a fragrance. So for it to last eight hours on me, that's a good thing. For two or three hours, you're gonna get projection for about four or five feet. That bad boy's gonna be pushing out. You know what I'm saying? The sea arch leaves sand trails from here to Africa. You know what I'm saying? So it's good in, in projection. It's good in the sea arch, and um, 
after after about the three or four hour mark, it'll get pretty ill. It'll, it'll get kind of close to you, maybe about two or three feet from you, where you still can get wafts of it and things like that. Now a lot of people get scent blind to this very quick, and they don't think they think like, man, I don't smell the corona, I mean, it's not working. But that joke is projecting, and I think it's that uh, that pepper in there, that broxin that's in it. It, it, it causes an old factory fatigue. You know what I'm saying? And it, you know, scent blind kind of fast. But trust me, if you don't smell it on you. Other people will. So don't over spray it. Don't go back to putting five, six sprays. You're going to choke somebody out. You're going to kill them. So, with that being said, man, the performance on this is awesome. Like I say, eight hours in, you still be smelling on your skin. If you go to bed, you wake up, so your skin is still there. So, you know what I'm saying? In my eyes, that's all a uh, cologne needs. Smell good, perform good, and you pin. So, with the overall score, I'll give this a big crown. How I rate my phrases, I'll give them a small crown. And you have a little medium sized crown, you have a big crown. This right here is fit for a king. This is a big crown fragrance. Now, when it comes to compliments, I don't welcome on for compliments. And you shouldn't worry about compliments. Kings don't worry about compliments. You be yourself. You, when you wear the fragrance, you let the fragrance be you. You don't be the fragrance. And you know what I'm saying? And people gonna compliment you. Uh, they gonna smell you when you wear this. Um, but like I said, don't try to wear colognes for compliments and things like that. Cause trust me, I don't have some of the cheapest stuff on it, and, and I had received compliments. I had CJ Black on from Blue 21, like a $14 cologne a long time ago. And, it, and somebody turned around and they're like, hey, uh, what, what cologne are you wearing? And I'm like, oh, this CJ Black. So anything can garnish compliments, you know what I'm saying? So don't wear cologne for compliments, man. Just wear it because you like it, it fits your personality, it fits you. And you know what I'm saying? You let that, just let that bad boy shine, man. So with that being said, this is a hitter. This is a banger. This is fire. This is a king. This is a cologne fit for a king. You heard this from your boy. The king has spoken. So pick you up some deals and bars. If you want to know where to pick this up, you can holler at me. Inbox me. Like, subscribe. Hit the bell if you want more content from your boy, the cologne king. And I'm out. Thanks for watching.